Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is LC. Today, I want to share how to use historical earnings yield to estimate fair value of a stock. A while ago, I uploaded two videos to share how to estimate fair value of a stock with a PE chart and how to create PE chart. If you haven't watched the video, please do so. I won't repeat some important concepts in this video. You can find the link in the video description. This slide shows formula of calculating PE. PE multiple is a ratio for valuing a company that measures its current share price relative to its per share earnings. As I have explained this in the previous video, I won't repeat here anymore. PE ratio has a brother. His brother is called earnings yield. Earnings yield is the inverse of the PE ratio and it is expressed in percentage. The earnings yield shows the percentage of each dollar invested in the stock that was earned by the company. PE and earnings yield are telling the same story, but they package delivery of the story differently. For instance, PE 8 times equivalent to earnings yield 12.5%. PE 12 equivalent to 8.3% earnings yield. PE 20 times earnings yield 5%. The inverse relationship between earnings yield and P-E ratio seem to indicate that the overvalue of a stock is the lower the earnings yield may be and the undervalue of a stock is the higher the earnings yield may be. I personally prefer earnings yield over P-E ratio because it is quoted as a percentage. This allows an easy comparison such as bond rates, about 4% in Malaysia. Generally speaking, we should invest in shares that have higher earnings yields than the yield on bonds. The risk and uncertainty of shares must be compensated for by a potentially higher return. This is not always true, but just a general guidance. I could not stress this enough. The proper way is you should use historical data to see precisely what the earnings yield of a stock was on a historical basis. A little bit of algebra here. To get fair value, we divide earnings per share with earnings yield. To get buy price, we divide earnings per share with the high earnings yield. Sell price, earnings per share divided by the low earnings yield. In this video, we will use rolling four quarters earnings per share. Next, I will show you how to estimate fair value of a stock by using historical earnings yield. To follow the step-by-step -step in this video, you need to download the template file by clicking the link provided below. This file contains Maybank, historical stock prices and PE chart. Before we proceed, if you haven't viewed the videos I mentioned, please view the videos where you can find the links in the video description. Once you download the Excel, please open it. First of all, add a new column in this table and name the new column as EY percentage. Let's type in the formula. One o 1 over PE ratio. Ch 
change the format to percentage. Next, copy Q to T, Control C, then right click column P and select insert copy cells. We have to change the labels to remove confusion. Replace PE with EY percentage. The next step is we have to change the formula in getting the low earning seal, median earning seal, and high earning seal. This is very easy. So you just have to change the formula here. Do the same to the mean table. Then let's change the number format to percentage. Remember, the formula to get buy price, we use high earnings here. To get sell price, we use low earnings here. So let's change the label here. change sell and buy price formula in the median table so to get it we take the earnings per share divided by the low earnings here rolling four quarter earning per share Make sure you anchor it. To anchor the formula, press F4. Remember that. Divide by high earnings here. So what you do is you just copy the formula to the mean table. As you can see, recommended buy and sell price here is exactly same with PE so PE or earnings yield is just really up to your preference before I end this video I give you a challenge try to construct earnings yield chart by yourself the method is exactly similar to creating a PE chart. If you encounter difficulty, please leave a message below. The completed Excel with EY percentage chart is available to download. Click the link provided in video description. If you enjoyed the video, give me a like and share it out. If you didn't, a dislike. Subscribe for more and I will see you in the next one.